think that I think that everybody felt that you know a social media arms race is not a measure of effectiveness, um, and and while it was a powerful data point, it needed to be supported by something else. So, you know, unless you're Twitter, getting more Twitter um, followers is only so important. Um, so, so what we were looking for is what are you doing with that? What are you doing with those Facebook fans? What are you doing with those Twitter followers to turn them into commercial success? There was a common, uh, we just, you just can't uh, talk about Facebook likes or a number of tweets. Anything that just had a social metric and no business results got dismissed because um, it's quite easy now to prove that you've got millions of people that liked you or uh, you know, many eyeballs on YouTube. Just thought it's not, it's not good enough. What was interesting as, uh, to me was um, the best papers were really clear about the objectives they set at the beginning and then proved against each one of those objectives how they'd succeeded. And some of them, unfortunately, would set objectives that they never came back to or have results that didn't match with the objectives they set. And that, then that leaves you kind of questioning what they were really trying to do. So I think if I gave any piece of advice, it would be uh, make sure your objectives really stack up with the data that then you collect to prove whether you've hit them or not. I would encourage people to make stronger validation stories around the reason we're putting this market research data in is that it's you know X percent predictive of sales or um, the things that that tie the research data more to the ultimate goal. Um, so so market research is a, a means to understand how your um, marketing activities are working, not an end.